Ram Ram. Namaste. Today we're here in Bangalore. I'm gonna show you guys our first impression of Bangalore city. But before we do that, guys, take a quick second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let's go show you guys what Bangalore looks like. Yeah, and like my first impression for now, like it's raining. Here. Oh yeah, that's a one yeah, big that's difference, fine. right? Today is Sunday, but it's not like a lot of people over here. Uh, there was no rain in Delhi or Rajasthan, so anyways, it's a little bit humid too. So yeah. enough talk. Let's get out there and show you guys what Bangalore City looks like. Let's Here we go. go. Okay. Yeah, Pan's a little too excited about Starbucks. Yeah. I wanna know like is Ted just like Thailand or no? Oh, and here is so clean as you can see like a lot of trash here that's why this city is so clean you mean there's not a lot of trash here um bin emily in Paris. now we just got starbucks i taste it already but the taste is not that good like it's a little bit light it's not so much like flavor coffee taste but the good thing is just like a it's a little cheaper than Thailand. Yeah. How much is it? Um, two thirty five for the tall size. Anyway, so that's Starbucks. I didn't get anything because I'm not a big yeah. fan of Starbucks. It's, it's a little bit milky. Little no, bit it's not a little bit. It's milky. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit, a lot of milky. So if you don't know, Bangalore is known as the Silicon Valley of India, right? So yeah. let's see if we can tell why it's called that. I do see a lot of, like even right there is WeWork. I believe that's a co-working space. So yeah. if you got to like work on your laptop or something. Yeah. This area has got a lot of name brand shops and I see a lot of younger people already. So yeah, yeah look, look for yourself. A lot of girls. <laughs> a lot of girls, okay. What else? Now that was MG Road and we yeah. just stopped by to get some Tibetan food. Yeah. I've never had Tibetan food so I was really excited to see what it tastes like. Uh, we stopped at a place called Taste of Tibet, right? Yeah. And we got the two most popular items. It was a noodle dish with a lot of seasoning. It was really spicy. Yeah, yeah so the noodle dish was delicious. It came with big chunks of beef, a yeah. lot of spices. I like the red color. It was a really different flavor. And they gave us beef gravy with a really big steamed bun. And it was really interesting. I never had Tibetan food, but that was super tasty. I highly recommend it. And of course, uh, the Sprite there looked really good in a glass bottle. So I had to have one of those. Only 20 rupees, so 25 cents. Not bad at all. Now we're going to go to Commercial Street. Yeah. Okay, so. Basically, it's just like um, traditional clothes and a lot of stuff here, especially mm. souvenir. So let's go ahead and check out Commercial Street. Commercial Street, we're looking for an umbrella actually. Mm -hmm. We're looking to buy an umbrella because in Bangalore it's been raining. Yeah, all because day. since we came here, like it's raining every day. It's the first place in India that we've been to that is raining, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and see if we can find an umbrella and see if we can get a good discount or price because apparently this is the place to come if you want some local prices. Yeah. First things first, uh, let's find some chai. Chai Wala. Chai Wala, where are you at? I've noticed a lot less chai guys, chai wala on the street here. They're a lot more organized and it's actually like a little coffee shop. And most of the place you have to buy the coffee first, take your chick, your ticket to the next person that pours you the coffee. And that's one other great thing here. I've seen a lot more coffee shops than just Thai. <laughs> than just chai. We just took a short rickshaw drive to UB City. This place is supposed to be very modern with excellent shopping mm -hmm. for high brand names. Let's go have a look because this place already looks like a, a modern city in any big country that you're visiting. So, so yeah, already it's nice and clean and we can tell a big difference to local shopping and high-end shopping. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's go. So <laughs> after that UB City, we came a two kilometer short yeah. tuk -tuk auto rickshaw ride to this uh, St. Mary's Basilica. So I can't wait to see this church. Apparently, it's a beautiful, apparently there's a lot of churches here in... Um, in Bangalore. In Bangalore. Yeah, for work and church, they have a lot of churches around here. But for now, we at St. Mary's Church. Yeah, we're going to check out St. Mary's Basilica. I'm not really sure what the difference between Basilica and a church is. But let's go give you guys a quick glimpse. And I really love the street hustle and bustle anywhere in India. As you can see now, I had an umbrella, but you can see like along the street, like people still shopping with the rain coming. It's kind of fun, right? It's super fun because even the fruit's getting wet, the clothes are getting wet, nobody seems to care. This is how they do it here in India. Yes. Let's go check out the Basilica. Let's go! 
The huge market over there. Time for shopping. Here is a quick glimpse of the basilica itself. It's beautiful. It's really massive, really, really tall, and the surrounding area is really clean. Yeah, I think it's kind of have like um, Portuguese, something that you said. Oh yeah, so I think maybe some of these churches have been influenced uh, by, you know, Portuguese people that came here, colonized the south of India, I heard. I'm not really sure, so don't quote me on that. I have to do some more research. If you guys know about that, please let us know in the comment section. And that is the basilica. I don't usually like filming inside of churches. We're gonna go inside to take a look around, but this is what the outside looks like. So yeah, let us know what you think so far about uh, Bangalore and everything you've seen. We're gonna go inside and do a little bit of shopping after this. Uh, and, and yeah, of course, try street food. And try street food. We might show you guys a little bit of that, but that's it for this part of the tour and our first impressions of Bangalore. See, so far, So, which way do you like the most about Bangalore? Uh, so far, my favorite has to be this church, to be honest. It's really, really neat, and the surrounding area is mm -hmm. beautiful. Street food, a market, very local vibes. And you know one thing I've noticed, ironically, is a lot of Muslims on the street, even though it's a Christian church. Oh, uh, yeah? So, something uh, a little bit ironic, I think. This is the most Muslims I've seen in Bangalore, at least so far. So, I'm not really sure what the percentage of Hindis or Hindus and Muslims and Buddhists and all that is, but yeah. Let's go inside. Well, I'm gonna go inside. I'll talk to you guys right after this, okay? Once again, we got an order here and get an ice cream over there. It's only 20 rupees. You can't go wrong with that. So 25 cents for soft serve ice cream. Oh, another thing here. A lot of people don't follow lines in India. You gotta like really push your way through. It's like everyday challenge. I'm going to. Chukia. <laughs> Oh, it's raining so hard. Oh, it's raining hard. Our ice is gonna melt. A man don't even ask for flavor. He just gives you whatever he wants. What? You want a bunny rice? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna try whatever he gives us. A real way of trying. Sukhya. Even in the midst of this chaos, I was able to find some chai and mangoes, right? So you can see it's craziness here. But there are some people walking around with thermoses, like big ones. And a bunch of cups and they're selling chai to anyone that's working anyone that's walking by and this one is only five rupees can you believe that so you can get about 16 of these for only a dollar and mangoes with masala salt can't go wrong this mango this mango of course i have to tell you guys what it tastes like some black peppers or something on here masala Ooh wee! Spicy and sour. And a little bit of mango -y. The skin's still on there. I love it. We're just heading back to grab a taxi. Yeah. And we just saw our first cow in Bungalow, right? So here he is, or she. I'm not really sure if it's a man or a woman, to be is honest. She? She. She can, oh, she looks kind of scurry. I don't want to alarm it. I don't know how they might behave sometimes. You know, I'm not yeah. sure if they're scared of us, if we're scared of them, if they're gonna like charge at you or something, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so first cow in Bangalore, Bangalore. See? It's cute. Ow, he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this brings the video to an end. So I'm gonna tell you guys my first impression of Bangalore. For me, honestly, this is a very different kind of place than what we've been to in Rajasthan yeah. and Delhi. It's a lot more organized, it seems like, a lot less honking. There's a lot of modern infrastructure here, but of course, you get a little bit of history as well. So yeah. I really like the place. They're wide and like roads, uh, a lot less garbage. And I love the place so far. It looks very clean. I'm very excited to find out what's going to happen here in Bangalore. Now, what about you, Pam? What do you think? What's your favorite part so far, actually, of um, today? Actually, it's just like you mentioned before, the horn honking here is just mm -hmm. like less than another city. Yep. And about the green stuff here as well. Mm -hmm. It's just like, it's make everything here. It's make the better weather. Yeah, okay. The better, the weather better. <laughs> It makes the better weather, yeah. the weather better, right? So you like yeah, the weather? Because they, they have a lot of trees, that's why they have a lot of oxygen during the day. It's like, it's 
refreshing. Yes, yeah, refreshing for sure. And actually, it is a lot less polluted here. Yeah. My nose is back to normal. My congestion's yeah. gone. Yeah. And I'm very excited to find out what Bangalore has yeah. to offer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me, what do you want to say? And I was say, like, the last time that I checked AQI last yeah. night, it's just about 100. Oh, just 100. Delhi was almost 400, right? Yeah, exactly. Wow, that's fantastic. So leave your thoughts down below, guys. Let us know what is your favorite part of this video. <laughs> if you've been to Bangalore or Bangaluru, I should say, <laughs> yeah. anything you want to share. If you take time to write it, I take time to respond for sure. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I will see you guys from another video from Bangalore. Bye. Shukriya. Shukriya. Namaste. Bye. <laughs>